And he shall skin the burnt offering and cut it into its pieces. The sons of Aaron the priest shall put fire on the altar and lay the wood in order on the fire. Leviticus 1, 6-7 The burnt offering for priests, not only sinners. This was a high position for the priests, the family. The burnt offering was wholly offered to God. It was all burnt upon the altar. Man did not partake of it. But the sons of Aaron, the priests themselves, being likewise priests, are here seen standing around the altar of God to behold the flame of an acceptable sacrifice ascending to him, an odor of sweet smell. This was a high position, high communion, a high order of priestly service, a striking type of the church having fellowship with God in reference to the perfect accomplishment of his will in the death of Christ. As convicted sinners, we gaze on the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ and behold therein that which meets all our need. The cross, in this aspect, gives perfect peace to the conscience. But then, as priests, as purge worshippers, as members of the priestly family, we can look at the cross in another light, even as the grand consummation of Christ's holy purpose to carry out, even to death, the will of the Father. As convicted sinners, we stand at the brazen altar and find peace through the blood of atonement. But as priests, we stand there to behold and admire the completeness of that burnt offering, the perfect surrender and presentation of the spotless one to God. We should have a very defective apprehension of the mystery of the cross, were we only to see in it that which meets man's need as a sinner, There were depths in that mystery which only the mind of God could fathom. This alone would be sufficient to teach us that there are heights and depths in the doctrine of the cross which man could never reach. C. H. McIntosh